Welcome. I'm going to show you in this video how you can use uh, PowerShell in Excel, set up your data, and data set, then set up data validation to detect duplication in a particular column. So let's kick this off. So if you want to follow along, you can do an install module, install hyphen module, import Excel, grab this module from PowerShell gallery. Uh, you want to see more updates from me, you can follow me on X at x.com forward slash D, F as in Frank, I-N-K-E. So I post when I do these videos on there as well as LinkedIn and some other social media places. So catch up with me there and uh, stay up to date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just walk through this PowerShell snippet. Um, and actually, let me do this first. I'm going to run it. Uh, when I do, you'll see that uh, code and product get set up in columns A and B. And we're going to put some, a code number and a product number. And let's see what that looks like. And there you go. So that looks pretty straightforward and simple. Notice how the numbers 2, 4, 1, and 3 got uh, three zeros in front of it. That's all part of the PowerShell I'll show you. Now, I also set up the the duplicate detection and let me show you that in play so you can see that numbers one two three and four okay so if I do five and I can say let's say a berry we're all good now let's let's see what happens if I type a zero a, a one and I tab it comes up and says duplicate found product code cannot be duplicated okay so it's telling me the number one is no good and let's do a seven and we can make that, I don't know, Kiwi. So how did I set all that up? Let's take a look. So we'll give do a little bit of PowerShell and we'll uh, also show you how to set up the duplication issue, uh, detection. So here I'm just converting using the convert from CSV built into PowerShell to take this comma separated value st uh, string and uh, convert it into an array of objects with the property names code and product. Um, close that window of the Excel because I'm going to probably run this again. And uh, just set up these uh, four different items. I could be reading this from a file. I can do an import CSV or I could be reading it from the web or a database or from another Excel sheet. Pretty much ex PowerShell is excellent at uh, pulling in data from pretty much anything. If it doesn't have something built in that can do it, you can easily construct something. Next up, I'm going to say I want to put this in my DTEMP, call it data validation.xlsx. And for this demo I'm gonna remove it every time I run it um, so I can recreate it so I'm gonna take that data that I converted and I'm gonna export it to Excel into that Excel file and I'm just gonna do an auto size and here's an important part I'm gonna pass through um, that created export that Excel file that I create I'm gonna pass that handle back into Excel pack and save it in an Excel package and then I can operate on it. So before I operate on it, I'm going to set up two uh, hash tables, one called validation params and one called uh, when user enters invalid data. In the validation params, I'm going to take that Excel package we just did a pass through on, grab sheet one, and for just for this example, I'm going to say from range A2 to A1001, your data may be larger, smaller in different places that you want to check. You can change that in the range. Uh, typical Excel range and I say setting up that show error message yep set that to true I want to show it then the other hash table I'm setting up or the key value map is I want to let's just look at the error title um, that's where you see the duplicate found error body product code cannot be duplicated the type of validation is uh, custom and error style is stop just as a note okay Let's go down to line 33. On here, um, I can say uh, error, st oh, I'm sorry, let's go with validation type. And I can hit control space. And these are the different um, validation types that are supported in the import Excel module that I wrote. And then you can learn more about it. So this one, we're gonna choose custom. And back up here, so the title, the body, the validation type, and the error style, we're going to stop on it. That's also, you can find out the enumeration of what other, what else you can set besides stop. And here's the magic sauce. I'm going to say if 
count if a colon a, which means I want all of a, uh, based on a2, if it's equal to 1. Okay? So that's, um, I believe, if it comes up. So every time that you type in there, it's going to count up how many um, items are in there that are, just, are, you know, are the same. If there's more than one, it will trigger the error. So now, on line 32, I'm going to use set Excel range. I'm going to pass it in the worksheet, the Excel package sheet one. I want to say column A, and I want to say the number format is 000 pound sign. So that says, okay, put at least three zeros in there and a number. Uh, so that's pretty good up to like, uh, for like the numbers one to nine, 10, and so on. And I'll put the appropriate number of zeros in front of that. Now we're going to add our Excel validation. And I'm going to splat both the validation params and the when user enters in valid data. So I'm splatting worksheet range and show error message first. And then I'm going to splat the rest of the, the five other uh, parameters. I'm going to do that add Excel validation, data validation rule. And then I'm going to close the package, the Excel package that we did the pass through on. And I'm going to let that saves the Excel file and then hyphen show launches it into Excel. So let's run this again. We'll get back to the original data. And I can type here, I can type a, a five and type in very. And then I can type in three, not knowing was higher in the list because this could be a thousand numbers here. And it says duplicate found. Product code cannot be duplicated because three was already specified here. You can see on line five. So I can escape and then type in seven. I can skip those uh, and type in Kiwi. So we have a way to export our data from anywhere into an Excel file. And then we can set up uh, validation ranges. And I'm only showing you how to do it on one column. You can do it on more than one uh, to your heart's content. That's all I've got. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit the notification, hit the thumbs up. Uh, see you next time.